Hello, everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Wow, well, first of all, happy holidays, everybody. It is, uh, what, December 30th, so we're on the cusp of getting one of the worst years in the world out of the way. 2016, fare thee well. 2017, let's hope for the best. All right, so have a good new year. Do whatever. Now, King's Quest. I thought we were done, and I heard rumors that there was uh, an epilogue coming to those who had the season pass, or to everyone, or I don't know. And I also heard it was kind of short, so chapter one, two, the deal. Bye-bye, Graham. Now, a new chapter begins. Now, whether this is the beginning of a brand new series starring Gwendolyn, I don't know. Could be. I'm interested to see. I'm also kind of curious if all the choices that I made, chapters one through five, will now become a little bit more apparent and have more far-reaching consequences because it felt like a lot of what I did so far through the story just had a couple little dialogue changes here and there maybe a few smaller repercussions the dragon what happened to the dragon i don't know maybe the epilogue will answer all of our questions it was my first solo trip away from home i was well practiced within the safety of the castle walls but today my feather was going to get its first real notch. Every good adventure seeker knows to be prepared. And I most definitely am. Ah, all right. So choices are being made right away. So we have the clever option. So this is um, this is the Wenty way. This is the Amaya way. And this is the Achaka way. Uh, no, the... Cobblepot's way. Well, you know, it's bow and arrow all the way. As much as I think I could... Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know what to choose. They're all handy. My gut says take the rope because that would be the most handy thing for an adventurer. But the bow, Achaka's legacy, how? I'm going for the rope because that's what my gut says. As much as I want the bow. Acorn's legendary adventuring rope. Check. Oh. <laughs> I have soiled my garment over nothing. I can have all of them. A Chaka's bow the grandpa used on many a quest. Check. Who knows what danger lurks out here. Trusty hatchet. Check. Oh. Well, I guess that's it. All right, Yarble Snoofs. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I need that tracking badge. So is she like a junior scout now? Okay, Gwenny. Wow, it's good to control someone after chapter five that can move at a fairly good clip. Hey, froggies. What? A queen still needs to develop new and important skills. You can always be better. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty good. It's so weird to think of her as a queen at like, what? Four, like 13? No, not even. I will just kind of think, like, 11, 12? I don't know. I'm a bad judge of age. Aha! Wabbit tracks. Wait, lots of tracks. Ooh, small tracks or big tracks? Uh, you know, this is my first adventure. Let's go the way of the small tracks. I'm not sure how big a Yarble Snoop is, either. Alright, well, I hope the Yarble Snoops made their way over here. Otherwise, I don't know what to do. I can't follow them into the bushes. What up? Ooh, I've made my way to Switzerland. Is that, uh, that's the cart back there. Ooh, and the castle. Can I go back and see them? I think uh, it's a little bit too far away. Am I running into an invisible wall? I'm getting smaller. Nope, forever out of my reach. All right, Gwen, come back. Let's get this adventure underway. Ah, uh, ooh, a squirrel. I don't suppose you're a Madeline, all right? No, Adeline wears a sweater. Oh. Sorry about the trouble, little one. Um... Uh, why are you contemplating a stump so? I could chop it up? Moon? Meet logic. Uh, no, I think using an axe on something wooden is not too much of a stretch. <clears throat> what am I doing? This looks to have the perfect spring for my trap. 
But it's a squirrel. That's not a Yarble Snoof. Is it? Alright, what do I bait it with? They're not just gonna walk into it. Are they? Alright, hide. I should hide here once I've set the trap. I don't want to scare off any Yarble Snoofs. <laughs> I can't remember what a Yarble Snoof is. Okay, I gotta bait... Ugh. I gotta bait the trap. And I guess that means around the giant yawning maw of death. Alright, the game's making a big deal that this exists, but I can't do anything with it. Hmm, alright, what do I bait the trap with? Maybe I should go the other way. Or I can go around and go to Miracle Max's. Let's see if we can find a uh, stray piece of meat that's been tied up. Kind of do the acorn method of wolf trapping. Or Yarble Snoof Trapping, which I guess is sort of like the Junior Woodchuck's version of Wolf Trapping. Huh. What would Grandpa do? I felt as though I was at a loss for what to do. And then I remembered. I was a fourth-ranked Wetzel Wolf Scout. I needed to slow down and observe what was around me. That sounds like the King Swayze way. Check things out, and when possible, steal them. <gasps> it's a, a, one of those horse thing, Scotty Dog Terrier Llama creatures. Are you Yarble and Snoots? here we find the Snoot. Snoot. The scout guide says he can leap nearly 30 feet in the air. I feel that's unlikely. Let's test that theory. I don't think you guys made these little tracks. So these are squirrel tracks and the big ones are snoot tracks. Snoot. Don't hurt. Alright, what, um, am I supposed to be doing something with you, snoots? Do I kill you and butcher you for meat? Grandma always warned me about the stomping tendencies of snoots. But I'd never seen it in action. Well, they're I doing it quite a bit. I wonder if I could get them to stomp somewhere else. All right, so they like the bananas or the plantains or whatever. So that's going to be the bait I need for the snoot. Once I figure out why I need them to stomp somewhere else than where they are. Small food for a small animal. Aha, berries. Got it. Okay, bait achieved. And into the trap it goes. All right, Yarble Snoop or Squirrels, whatever you are. Now I gotta wait for the bandits to come by. That's a badger. Come on, it's safe. You, don't, don't. Mm, all right, he's still scared. Why? How could I forget Scout Rule 14? All creatures are wary of the unnatural. It just needs a mask. Okay, so I was on the right track. So I need to hide the rope. Or my scent, or something. Hmm, maybe I can get some mud from down there. Kind of do the, the predator method of camouflage. <sighs> Alright, I thought I can come to like the pond and get some mud or something and smear it all over the rope, but that doesn't seem to be an option. I have this axe still. I have this axe still in my inventory, so maybe that's a solution of some sort? Maybe I can cut off some bark and wrap it around the rope? I don't know. I wouldn't have made fourth rank Wetzel Wolf Scout if I couldn't recognize the tracks of a badger. Ah, uh, okay. So there are three critters rolling around. So we got the Snoots, the Yarble Snoops, and the, and the Lowly Badger. And the Badger is what's coming around and freaking out the Yarble Snoops. Uh, whatever they were. So maybe the stomping of these guys will scare off the badgers so the yarbles will come out. Oh god, it took me forever, but it... Uh, my thought was, like, I would need some tree bark or some leaves or something to cover the rainbow rope. And the only book, the bush, I can interact with is if I come over here and I look, if I stand just the right distance away from this bush... I can look under it and see that the tracks went under there. That's great. But if you walk up on the bush... Okay, and now it's doing it. You know, making it look like a fool. Okay, hatchet the damn bush. I think these will work. Oh, is this now a shortcut?
Oh, is that a Yarbel Snoof? And there's the Yarbel Snoof. They're said to be quite elusive, but I'm guessing everyone found them annoying and chose not to bring them to town. What's he look like? What's your head? Do you have like a cool human face? <laughs> okay, I like him. Oh god, they're everywhere. That's why they're annoying. They're like a weird turkey lizard bird thing. Oh, okay. So, I set a trap for a badger over there. But I set a trap for the Yarble Snoops over here. I have made a grievous error. Okay. Um, Yarble Snoops, you guys wait here. These are nature's adventuring ropes. Okay, and I can't get the vines while the Yarble Snoops are here. Okay. Why are they so obsessed with keeping their heads in the dark? I guess that's a clue for something. They don't seem too hard to catch. They're just kind of everywhere. You could probably catch one with your bare hands if you really wanted to. Oh, they do run away. All right, well, anyway, first things first. Now we have what we need to catch a badger. Of course, sugar shrooms. It's just a yarble snoof. Relax. What? Okay. I need to find a way to get those sugar fruits. Um, reach in and get them? They seem like, they seem pretty useless. Oh, this will get it. Alright, fine. I'll be back, but I'm gonna cut down your tree before too much longer. Never seen these tracks before. What else is out here? That looks a little bit more fearsome. Okay, definitely not a Yarble Snoof or Snarf or Fliggy Flabub. We definitely need to avoid the deadly Snarble Snarb. I feel like I'm walking through a Dr. Seuss game. So once I come back with the Pentoozler, you guys are in real trouble. Because you know only a Pentoozler can catch a Yarble Snoof. What am I out here for anyway? Do, am I out here just to catch a Yarble Snoof? Because I seem really intent, or at least there's possibilities to catch everything from squirrels to badgers to Yarble Snoofs or whatever. Or maybe I can only catch one and whatever I catch is like cannon or something? I don't know. Seems like a really crappy job, but okay. And now we wait? And hide. Gotcha. Let me cut you down. Got you. Now, just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. So you just catch them once and they never run away. They just become docile and your friend forever. And I now have a badger in my pants. Nope. Can I get the leaves again? No? Just gonna leave them there? Okay. Well, camouflage done, I guess. Okay, well now that we have a badger, maybe badger would be bait for a larger creature. Though that's thinking a little bit cruelly. Alright, so let's think about it. So we have the Yarble Snoofs. And they are apparently mad for sugar shrooms. Uh, oh, wait, maybe a badger could scare away the the Yarble Snoof. In, <laughs> God, the Yarble Snoof in the tree. And then the Yarble Snoof will vacate said tree. And I can get the sugar shrooms in order to catch more Yarble Snoofs. Yarble Snoofs. Well, yeah, but I can't interact with the tree in any way. Um, how can I set the badgers loose? I think I'm barking up the wrong tree, so let's see if maybe the badger can scare the snoots and profit. Maybe I get the bananas they're guarding, and then I can use their stomping ability whenever I choose. Now, as much as I kind of like this little scouting adventure, it's not giving me all the uh, the real life consequences I was uh, I was hoping for. All right, snoots, here's a badger. 
That's a badger, all right. Check him out. Oh, hey, hey. Don't squish it. Okay. Ah, path opening. Get him, badger buddy. You're a pal. Okay, now we can get the bananas that the snoots like. I don't know why snoots like this so much. Uh, oh, there's another. Okay, so now we can go this way. Where? Oh, shortcuts. All right, so now, let me see. Maybe I can sneak the snoots in here. There we go. Snoot bait. All right. This seems to make the Yarbl snoots a little weary. Okay. Well, well done me. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I fed that snoot real good. Okay. Oh, we got a path straight through. That's nice. Oh. They knocked down the tree. Okay, well that kind of banana solution took care of pretty much everything. Okay. I need to find a way to get those Just reach fruits. in and get it. He's too busy picking his own ass. All right. She's got a plan. I don't know what her plan is, but I'm going along with it. I've moved it. I moved the heck out of it. Okay. I need to find a way to get those sugar shrooms. Okay. Well, I've relocated it. That's a start. Now, what if I just chop the crap out of it? I don't understand what that accomplished. Um... I moved it back into the path of the stump. So maybe if I attract a snoot over here, it'll just like crush the log and by extension the yarble snoof. Seems like a really bad idea, but okay. All right, giant Scotty dog, you just... Oh God, you could have killed it. I like the yarble snoof. I want one. Hey, but it's, it's Snoot, Snoot, you've got my rope. She seems pleased with this. That was, Ac Acorn made that for us. I don't even know if he's alive anymore. Oh, that's a good point. I mean, all of the characters we know are the same age-ish as Graham, if not older. So does that mean like, wait, that's a family heirloom he just walked away with, Snoot. Acorn might be dead. You jerk. Oh, she seems well. oh, great. Yeah, you're just gonna throw away a Chaka's bow next. Yes, sugar shrooms. Well, I don't have my rope anymore, so I don't know how I'm supposed to catch a, a yarble snoof with just sugar shrooms alone. Number, you know, rule number 18 of the uh, Junior Woodchuck's Guide to Yarble Snoof Catching. All right, so bait placed. Yarbel Snoof comes. Oh, that just it's just a distraction, so I get the vine. Okay, got it. These are nature's adventuring ropes. <laughs> Alright, you've got a hatchet. Use your brain. I'll use your brain for you. Yep. I don't think that's how vines work, but okay. This should give me the length I need. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god, it gets them high. I... It, oh, he gets himself caught in that little thing because he's high and or stupid. Okay, so let's see if we use the vine on this thing. I don't think so. Of course not. So maybe we'll go back to the original trap site and then if we put the sugar shrooms there, maybe that'll be enough to attract them that way because we know we can set a trap. I don't know. 
All right, and maybe now that the vine is a little bit more natural, I won't need the... Oh, the leaves are there already. Never mind. Way overthinking it. Okay, let's give this a try. There you go. One little sugar shroom. Go ahead and get and high, my little friends. High. Got you. Now, just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. Uh, who are you? Majora's Mask? What are you doing in there? Don't tell me. I can help. This is a Chaka's son. You got yourself into this mess, not me. I was just catching Yarble Snoops. I don't think he's happy with me. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you down. I'll just shoot you down instead of using my hatchet. Okay, yeah, so this is a Chaka's son. I'm gonna use a Chaka's bow, and that will prove to me. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, are the Arbor Soups in the world? Almost. Almost. Chucky! Shrekky? Wait. Oh, hi. Um, didn't expect to see you here. Killed another part of Achaka's family. Stalama. Wait, it's just a Shreki. Dragons are great. All right, all the characters are popping back up now. Oh, look who's in charge! All right, Mr. Fancy Cakes. Are you still upset that my father let, uh... Fancy cakes. Oh, wait. Is this some sort of... Oh, was there, like, a death glare happening there? Uh, okay. Fancy cakes. You're... Okay. Chucky! Stalama! Okay. Could have died. I'm fine. Oh, now the big pit comes into play. Uh... Alright. There's a lot of things happening at once here. There's a very small dragon chasing around a very small child via... Uh, okay, this is this is everything in the world. Okay, dragon, turkeys, Miracle Max. They're like, what is she doing? Ah! Uh, okay, first things first. Nope, okay. Eh. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Uh, all right, there's the, that log over there is going to come into play. Okay, so I got to go get the log. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Oh, God, I'm so no. dead. I have a feeling I use the shrooms on the log, and that's a thing. Like, they'll chase the turkeys. But that won't work. I'll leave the bananas there. Okay, banana. The banana will take care of everything. Okay, and then the, the, the big... Yeah, then he'll come and crush the log so I have an escape route. Uh, or he'll just eat it and be on his way. Or stand in the middle of the road, as they do. Oh, okay. Come on, big Scotty dog, me and you. Nope, okay. Graceful, great view of the undercarriage, thank you. Okay, now I've somehow gained all the speed back. Let's go and through that little shortcut we opened up. I don't think you're out of the woods yet, Goldilocks. Uh, okay, well I guess we're fine. I don't think so. Okay. So, they're just chasing each other around endlessly, so now I need to use... Ah! More trappy things. Nope, that's just a stump. 
Well, I could chop the tree down and block the road, but I think there's probably a more clever option. No choice. Whoop! Okay, I think I just made things ten times worse. Achaka's son, you are useless. Live up to your father's expectations. Uta! Uta! Uta, Uta! Uta? Oh, right. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. Oh, Salama! Uta! You got this. Come on. Afanata! Afanata! Almost there. Keep going. There we go. Second time's a charm. Whoop! Oh no, the entire flames! Okay. Alright, little tiny dragon's not happy with this. What are you gonna do, a chocolate? Uh, okay. That that happened. That was amazing. We just defeated a twirling, whirling, gaggle of Yarble Snoops and the most menacing dragon I have ever seen. Well, it was the first dragon I've ever seen, but we did it! I can't believe I had to use a Chaka's bow. Are we dueling archers now? I, I don't want to duel you, I just think you know, you're much better than me. But we can be super friendly archers. I didn't think I could make the shot. I've never been able to make the shot, but you believed. And then I did. And then you threw the rope and then did it! This is the best adventure ever, and I'm still gonna get my Wetzel Wolf Scout patch, and now I have a new best friend, and this is the best! Oh, um, sorry. I get a bit excited when it comes to adventure. Afanata, I'm Queen Gwendolyn, granddaughter of King Gran the Wise. Taskia. Taskia. Achaka. Grand. Oh, a chuckle was your grandfather. Um, well, my grandfather gave this to me, but without a chaka, I wouldn't be here. It belongs to you. Aww. Yeah. Really? Hmm. Afanata. Aw, squeezy huggles. Uh, still got a dragon over there, by the way. I hope we adventure again soon, Taskia. Maybe with less Shrekies. Less Shrekies? More Shrekies? <gasps> Shreky! No, it's fine. I don't think it meant to cause any harm. It's not even the same dragon. Oh. See? It's just hungry. She's all against dragons because a dragon killed her grandfather. Oh, it's eating sugar strooms. No wonder it's docile. Oh, I wonder if my attitude towards freeing the dragon at the beginning... A pet dragon. ...affected this, or if this always happens. I'd like to think so. That since I was nice to the dragon, Gwendolyn was all like, you know what, dragons are actually kind of cool, don't sweat it. And then Toskia's like, all right, me and this dragon will be cool friends. Or, if I kill the dragon or shot it or something, then Gwendolyn will be all like, Screw that dragon, kill it, shoot it with fire, keep the bow, shoot it in the eye, knock it down into the big giant hole. And then we would start a big, you know, cycle of fear and vengeance and fire well into my, uh, my queenhood. So yeah, this was a short episode, they weren't messing around, so at least we got that done and out of the way. The, the logic in this one was a little bit uh, obtuse, but you had to kind of think like a little Eagle Scout, which is kind of cute. So yeah, they introduced a brand new character in the way of Achaka's granddaughter, which says to me that, I don't know, maybe a whole brand new King's Quest uh, might be in the works? I think that would be actually kind of nice. 
while it won't be all the same characters, because everybody we knew in the original series is dead, well, except for my mother and, well, Alexander and Rosella, I guess they're still kicking around. Uh, oh, oh, and, um, oh, what was the, uh, Gart. Yeah, Gart's still on around, so maybe there'll be some sort of a, a plot line with him, and maybe we get to see Gwendolyn grow up, and, ooh, maybe this will be sort of a generational game. Like, the next series will be about Gwendolyn, Gart, and, uh, and Tosca, Tosca, Toskia? Am I saying her name right? Probably. And then after that, it'll be like her child and her child, and we can start a brand new series, and I'm thinking way too far ahead of myself, but gosh darn it, I get myself excited. There she is, Gwendolyn, standing triumphant with the Chaka's bow, ready for her next adventure. Ooh. Well, when or if that day ever comes, I will be here. You know me. So until that day, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.